Well, in other news, has the country's economy recovered since plummeting after Hurricane Dorian and COVID-19? Our Simone Davis spoke to a financial expert who breaks down a report showing that the nation's economy is, in fact, back to pre-Dorian and pre-pandemic levels. Here's that report. The Bahamas National Statistical Institute recently released a GDP report that shows that in 2022, the national economy has experienced a 14.4% growth over 2021 and was back to its pre-Dorian and pre-pandemic levels. We spoke to financial expert and economist Gowan Bo, who breaks down exactly what this means. What it really said is, ultimately, we lost so much of our income in, in um, Dorian and COVID-19 that 2023, as we start looking at it, well, really the 2022 um, calendar year, what we've seen is effectively a recovery. According to the report, the economy rebounded by 17% back in 2021. Bo says this recovery process is not an expansion or increase, but rather a healing process for the economy to get back to pre-disaster levels, not surpass it. But if we lost 24%, which is what happened following COVID-19, then really, if you do just the basic mathematics, if I lose 24, just to get back to level, I have to grow 24 and even more because I start from a lower base. And so why I say we have to balance it is ultimately, we have not yet demonstrated as a country that we have been able to grow beyond what is our new normal, which was pre-COVID. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Tourism Investments and Aviation, the Honorable I. Chester Cooper, attributed much of the growth to the busy tourism industry, to which Bo agrees. Very often we hear we should diversify away from tourism, but mm -hmm. what we see is that tourism, yes, is a bit of a roller coaster. It has its highs and lows, but it has such a significant contribution because it is the only significant export that we have. The financial expert says don't get too comfortable with the numbers, but instead work on surpassing those levels to a point where we can actually say the country's GDP has increased. For the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Simone Davis.